Hi guys! So, today's video is going to be a little random and a little bit different since we are all sitting at home and a lot of people are going out and buying tons of toilet paper. I decided to make a little video to help you out just in case you didn't get on time to buy that toilet paper. Okay? So, tip number one. A lot of the times you have some type of a party or you did have some type of a party at your house. So you have some napkins, some paper napkins. Paper napkins will save you, right? Um, or maybe you went to Starbucks a few times and took some napkins from Starbucks. Maybe, you know? But if you did not do that and you were like, no, I did not have any parties, I do not have any napkins, any paper napkins, what do I do next? Well, you probably have some coffee filters, maybe. Coffee filters are paper and they can work as some wipes. I mean, if you have nothing, coffee filters will do. But you're like, no, I don't have any coffee filters. I don't make coffee or I have a Keurig on Nespresso. Fancy. <laughs> I don't have any coffee filters. What's what I do next? Well, maybe, just maybe, you live with your wife or a sister or a roommate or some type of a female, some type of a female. And she might or might not have pads. You can cut it in half, and if you don't have anything else, pads will take care of the beep. That, I can't say it on the camera. But you're like, no, I live by myself. I don't have a wife. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a sister, <laughs> right? So what I do? Well, I'm sure you have a sponge sponge like a sponge that you wash your dishes with of course don't use the same one use a brand new one but you have a sponge that sponge i think it's an excellent idea you just wipe and rinse thank god we have water thank god for water this is what i'm so grateful for that we still have fresh running water so you can use the sponge you can wipe and you can rinse but you're like, okay, well, I don't have a sponge, which I don't know who wouldn't have a sponge, but I don't have a sponge. So what I do then? Well, you probably do have some type of cloth or a little towel or an old t-shirt, old t-shirt. Um, you can cut it up. Again, you can make so many tiny little cloths out of one t-shirt, one old t-shirt. Again, as long as you have a water, fresh running water, you can rinse it and also use a washing machine. That's how, that's how blessed we are. We have a washing machine or you can just wash it in the sink. But lastly, lastly, if everything fails in this world and you did not stock up on the paper, just like I didn't, I just have enough paper for maybe another week or two. Not really sure. I just have the regular supply, nothing crazy. Um, then it's a privilege that we just go and take a shower. We'll go into the shower and you just wash. Or you can wash it in the sink as well. Either or, as long as we have fresh running water and we're so blessed and grateful, I'm so grateful, that you can just go and take a shower real quick and rinse really quick. So those are my tips on what to do, how to survive if you run out of a toilet paper because people have been buying toilet paper like crazy and honestly, I have no idea why. Honestly, if you do know, please let me know in the comments down section below because I have no idea why would we buy this much toilet paper and 
not leaving it for other people. So if you do have so much and that there are other people that didn't get to go to the store and get the toilet paper before it was gone, please share it with your neighbor. Please share it, share it with elderly. Please share it with whoever is in need. Share it with them. I'm sure you're not going to use all of it. And if you do, we have options what to do next. And All right, you guys, that would be it for today. I hope you stay safe. I hope you stay healthy. Sharing is caring, remember. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye. Bujaki. <laughs> Cześć.